I've decided to take up jujitsu for three reasons. One, you only have to make one wrong turn on these country roads and you could end up in Bristol. Two, we ran out of hummus the other day and I got really upset, so I need to toughen up a bit. And three, tussling on the floor with a man in a loosely clad dressing gown to try and gain a dominant position is great for self-esteem. So my old geography teacher, Mr. Birch, used to always say. Only when I turned up, it wasn't the beginner's class I thought it was going to be. Instead, it was a seminar by this gentleman. He's called Victor Estima, who is not only a European jiu-jitsu champion, but a world champion and a god in the jiu-jitsu world. So I decided to hang around and see if he could teach me something I didn't already know. But all the while, I couldn't help thinking one thing. I wonder what would happen if I tried to take on Victor, the world champion, in a fight. Me, in my rigid, starchy, glowing new white belt against Victor in his worn and frayed, loosely hanging black belt. There were two possible outcomes. The first was that I'd lose and embarrass myself in front of the 40 people watching. But the second would be that I'd somehow win. I'd be known not then as that vlogger knob, but as the white belt that beat the world champion. And from then on, it would be me that would be the god. So I asked him, will you fight me? But I gave him a few rules first. No eye gouging. No going near my willy, no matter how tempting. No tickling. And absolutely no pinching. I hate being pinched. He agreed to my rules. And this is what happened next. <laughs> Oh, shit. Oh, shit. The first round didn't count because like in all sports, the first round is always the warm up round. It never counts, that's a fact. I could see Victor was confident, perhaps even too confident. Perhaps that was going to be his downfall. On to round two. It was around here I knew he had fallen into my trap. If you zoom in, you can see him smiling. He was face to face with humiliation, yet there he was smiling as we grappled. We had danced enough, it was time to make my power move. You see, I never told Victor that despite never doing jiu-jitsu before, I do crossfit at least three times a week. For the first time, he was about to taste my power. Bang, that's right. I forced the European and world champion to his knees, his smile now a distant memory. Sure, you might say he just slipped on a bit of sweat and I never even stood a chance, but if that's the case, then tell me this. Why then, right about here, did he whisper this to me? I can't lose this fight to a vlogger, Steph. If I do, it will ruin my career and reputation. You're already a god in your world. Let me continue to be a god in mine. And he was right. Why do I even need this? What am I trying to prove? I've met Alfie days, I've peaked. This is where I should probably end the video because the rest isn't really important. But as a sportsman, I'll let you see me purposely concede the fight and let Victor be the victor. So just to round up, I in no way got my ass handed to me by a handsome jiu-jitsu world champion and I wasn't humiliated in front of lots of people. That's just not what happened. Now let's all just move on with our lives and, and put this behind us. 